Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss a breadth first search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a very simple solved example. First, we will see what is the algorithm or how it works and then we will take a very simple example. In the first step of the algorithm, uh, we need to create a node list and then we need to set the node list with the initial state. That is nothing but uh, we want to go from initial state to goal state. So the initial state will be put into node list in the first uh, step. And then uh, until the goal state is found, we need to repeat this particular second step. Or there is another possibility, uh, if we don't find the goal list, uh, it may happen that the node list will become empty. So if a node list becomes empty, the meaning is uh, we haven't reached that particular goal state or the path is not found till the goal state. So that is the meaning of uh, the node list is empty. So either of these conditions uh, should uh, satisfy until that uh, condition gets satisfied, we have to repeat this particular uh, steps here. Now what we do is uh, we will remove the first element from the node list. Uh, we call it as E. That is the first possibility. If there are no elements in the node list, what we say is uh, uh, we say that uh, the goal is not list, uh, reached and then we will quit this particular algorithm or you can say process you can say. So first uh, we will try to remove an element from the node list. If it is uh, available, we will call it as E. If there are no elements in the node list uh, or you can say that the node list is empty, uh, we will quit this particular algorithm here. Now, if there is an element in the node list, uh, we will do uh, the following uh, with respect to the element E in this case. So first we will apply a rule to generate the new state. That is nothing but uh, we will try to get the successors of that particular E here. If the new state is a goal state, uh, we will quit and then uh, return this state. Otherwise, add the new state uh, to the end of that particular node list. So unless and until uh, we reach the goal list or you can say goal node, we have to repeat this particular uh, step here. So we do one thing, we will take a very simple example to understand this particular algorithm. So uh, this is the graph given to us. Uh, in this case, A is the, uh, can say that initial node and G is the goal node in this case. We have multiple uh, uh, goal nodes in this case. We have one, two, three and four. Uh, either of these uh, goal nodes has to re be reached. If you reach that particular goal node, uh, we have to stop it. If you haven't or if you are unable to reach that particular goal node, we will say that uh, it's a failure in that case. So first we will start with uh, the initial node. That is the initial node is A. That we will put into a node list. Initially the node list contain only the initial node. That is A here. Now what we do is uh, we will remove this particular element from the node list. That is A. And then we will find the successors of A. The successors of A are B and C. So we will put B and C into node list in this case. So now the node list will look something like this. Now from this particular B and C, we will select the first one that is B and then we will find the successors of B here. The successors of B are D and E. So we remove this particular B and D and E will be added into this particular node list here. Now it looks something like this. B has been reached. D and E are the successors. We haven't reached these things. We have just caught the successors of B in this case. Now, from the available elements from the node list, C is the first one. So we will try to do what? We will try to find the successors of C. The now uh, we will try to find the successors of uh, C. D and G are the successors. We will add these uh, two nodes into this particular uh, node list and C will be removed here. So this is how actually the node list uh, will look like. After this, uh, D is the uh, the first node from this particular node list. So we will get it and then it's the successor C and F will be added here. So this is how actually the node list will look like. From this particular node list, we will get the E. Uh, e does not have any successors. So once we reach this particular E, we don't have any uh, successors here. So we have left with only uh, D, G, C, F. Those are the only four nodes in this case. Now we will try to find the successors of uh, D here. B and F are the successors. So we will add those two things into this node list and D will be removed here. So this is how the node list will look like. Finally, G is the uh, element or the first element from this node list. Uh, we will try to uh, find the successors of G here. We don't have any successors. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that G is the goal node. So uh, because we have reached the goal node, uh, we say that the uh, algorithm has ended successfully. 
finally we will give the path or we can say that the final path to reach the goal node in this case the final path is uh, from a to c and then c to g in this case so this is a very simple uh, example to understand how breadth first search algorithm works the breadth first search algorithm works uh, what you can say that the breadth wise uh, it will try to get the successors of uh, node uh, it, it does the same thing uh, level by level unless and until we reach the goal state in this case now we will try to understand uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, breadth first search algorithm the advantages of uh, BFS algorithm are uh, this is one of the simplest uh, search strategy in artificial intelligence BFS is a complete that is uh, if there is a solution BFS is guaranteed to find that particular solution if there is no solution it cannot find it but if there is a solution it will definitely find that part that's for sure if there are multiple solutions then minimal solution will be found using BFS that's for sure uh, for example in the previous case we were having multiple number of goal nodes so definitely we must be having multiple number of uh, paths to reach that particular goal node so in such case uh, this uh, algorithm will definitely return the minimal uh, solution or you can say the minimal uh, cost uh, path in that case now we will see some of the disadvantages of uh, BFS uh, the breadth first search algorithm cannot be effectively used uh, unless the search space is uh, quite small and because what happens is uh, if uh, the goal node is present at uh, the leftmost uh, at the exponential depth uh, what we need to do is we need to traverse each and every node or a level then only we can reach that particular goal node so definitely it will take uh, the lot of uh, space so that is the one uh, disadvantage of uh, BFS algorithm in this video I have discussed what is uh, the breadth first search algorithm and how it works with a simple example also I have discussed what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, BFS algorithm I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching